Hi everyone, this is Linda and welcome to my channel. Today guys, I have a Hobby Lobby haul I wanted to share with you guys. I was able to get out at Hobby Lobby on Monday and today is Wednesday. And I wanted to share with what I found. I found some stuff that was on clearance and some stuff that was half off. So I just want to get started. So um, the Paper Studio was 50% off. And I was able to find this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Oh my gosh. It is so, so pretty. So colorful and so vintagey. And it's got a small texture to the paper. I think it's adorable. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. God. I fell in love with it. It was the only one there. Or I probably would have bought two of them. But love, 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 love. I think this is so so cute so there's one thing I found okay um, next thing was they had their um, cardstock um, and it was just the blacks the neutral tones for 40% um, off no no it was half off this is paper studio um, so I got it for um, around 450 and I didn't have any black so I wanted black and it is the heavy weight so I, I thought that was a good deal for that. You get, um, oh my, you get 50 sheets in there, so that's not bad. Okay, so the next, I found this on the clearance rack, and it's from the Paper Studio, and it was regular $21.99. I got it for $5.49. It's called Poppies and Pines. Um, so let me thumb through the paper here. I forgot to take off the other tab. But it is like a Christmassy theme with some non-traditional colors, I guess I want to say. Um, very cute. This is Mary across there. But I thought it was really pretty, and I didn't have any humongous big paper like this. So, And for $5.49, that was a good deal. So I found that. Okay, let me put this aside. And then uh, I did pick me up some black drawing paper, um, and it's by Canson. And it's just black drawing paper, and it is a 92-pound weight. Um, good for gel pens, metallic markers, pencil, colored pencil. And I thought it would be really nice to use with um, white gel pens. Or that metallic and um, watercolor paint that I got um, from Uli's. So I thought that would be good for this. And then I also found in their brand, they have a Master's Touch Toned Black Mixed Media Paper. So I opened it up and it is really, really sturdy. Almost like a poster board kind of paper. So, and it says it's really good. Um, it's versatile heavyweight paper for all types of artwork so wet and dry and it's a hundred and sixty pound weight so that's really good but you only get 15 sheets but I'm not going to use a whole lot of this I just wanted some mixed media black paper so found that okay and then for more clearance items I want to share what I found so with the orange tag I found the um, La Petite Girls um, for $1.24 down from $3.99. And then I uh, found these stickers for $0.62. Cents. And they are really cute. There you get the front and the back, so you get two sheets in there. And then I found some pretty flamingos. I bought these for a friend. Okay and some travel themed stickers i thought these were beautiful um 74 cents for these and these i found this cute llama for 74 cents and these other little llamas for 74 cents and then um let me see and here's another one of those i got two of those Okay, and then I found these charms for $0.62, cents, down from 
and then I found these um, stickers for 99 cents down from 3.99. I think you just get the front, yeah. So there's those, um, and then the others were the paper studios. Let me see. There's some other um, clearance items I want to share. I found these beads for 2.24 down from 8.99. Really pretty. Then I was able to find some bling for $1.99 and these were like the little um, floral and you get the different colors in there and they were $7.99 so I found those and then these are the half off from the um, paper studio these were like um, $2 and they are the gorgeous butterflies and then I picked up some mermaid tails and they're like a little um, plastic that you can add to like a um, tassel or if you're making a bookmark. So I found that and I found these um, little uh, um, I guess they're um, they're stickers they stick on but they're metal so I think they're metal but anyway they're the travel theme okay and then I found these stickers here and these were all half off um, creating queen uh, live to create and I just thought it was just the gorgeous just cute Everything there is just like uh, that's so me, you know, it's so me um, And then I found these more flamingos here. They're really really cute. They're like a gemstone flamingo I also bought those for a friend Okay, um, my husband found these butterflies here um, You get 26 pieces and you get the front and the back here um, very cute I thought they were adorable. They almost look real to me, like a real butterfly moth like. Okay, um, and then I found this butterfly here. I wish I would have bought two of these. I only got one. It was five dollars for dollar twenty-four. And then I found these mermaid gems here. Really pretty. And then my husband, believe it or not, they've got their fall stuff out. Pumpkins. They've got even Christmas stuff started and my husband found these fall trucks and I thought they were so cute now none of that stuff was on sale of course but these were full price at $2.49 but they were gorgeous and I thought um, I gotta get them so I got that and then I also picked me up some of these um, little charms to go I want to make um, a journal that is travel themed and I thought these would be wonderful for that. So there's that. And then I picked me up some of these alphabets here. Okay, they were full price at $3.49. And then I did pick me up um, some of this white um, ink pad for, for inking. Okay, so um, down in there... Uh, Aisle where they have all the spring things um, all of that was half off also so I was able to get this container Maybe it's out of the way and I'll show you guys so this container oh there's something else I'm going to show you too I forgot um, it's it was in the, it was called the spring shop so this flips up like this and you just lift this off so I thought how wonderful is that to put in the craft room if you want to fill it with beads or bling but they only had the two the, this size I guess they really sold quick and then it was a, like a square one so I did get the two anyway and they were regular $5.99 and I got them for $2.99 all right and then the other little thing I wanted to show was this cute little um, it's a pendant to make a necklace but it's it's so pretty I don't know if you can catch the colors but the colors are really really pretty for $1.24 down from $4.99 so I'll be making a necklace from that okay now I want to show you guys my stuff I got from Michaels okay um, let me pull my bag up here and then let me move the other stuff that I just showed you guys okay so the Hobby Lobby and the Michaels are really close to each other where I go. I go clear out to Altoona 
Pennsylvania and it's like an hour and a half away from my house so um, but I always want to hit all the places when I go okay so the first item is oh actually guys this was all right I got a five below too so I'm just going to show you what I found there a few things so I got this etch art at five below and it's got um, it's a 16 page book um, includes eight etch art panels. Um, I got this to let the kids etch with them when I have art camp in July. So I thought that would be nice. I always like working with these and letting the color come through. So we'll see how that goes over. So I found that at, at um, Five Below. So let me get the rest of the Five Below stuff out and I'll start with it before I go to the Michaels. Okay, so something else at Five Below I found are these calligraphy fountain pens and I thought how wonderful. So here's the refills, you know, your refill the inks, here's the caps, and then you get these two gorgeous pens. And um, they were only $3.25, they weren't $5, so I thought I'm going to try those. So there's those. And then I found these are erasers, which I thought was really cute. Now, I believe that's paper across there, but that's the colors that they had. And they were only a dollar for those. And then I did find these watercolor pens. They're fine point, and they have the color written on the side. So... I'm really anxious to see if these are water soluble to see if they will paint like um, you know you run a paintbrush through it and you can paint with it so it's this fine point watercolor pen so I don't know I'm going to try that out and see so I found those and then I bought these uh, I think they're so pretty and it is the crystal um, handled look uh, paint brushes. I love the color. It's one of my favorite colors and I don't think these are bad brushes. I've tried them before that they had there and they look very similar so I got those. And then one other little item that I'm able to eat right now is the Junior Mint. So um, still waiting for my bottom teeth to get adjusted and I have to wait till the 22nd so I apologize if I do sound a little lispy, <laughs> but um, I did get them in the other day and they did fit. It's just the bottom part needs somewhat shaved down because it's cutting the front part of the inside of my gum. So I have to wait till um, the 22nd for that to happen. Um, okay, so let me show you what I got at Michael's. So if you hold on one second. I gotta get another bag. Okay. So when I was in Michael's, we went to Michael's first. And I wasn't really looking for anything. But when I was in Michael's, sometimes you know they got uh stuff on the reduced dial and everything. So I did I went down the reduced dial and I did find just a couple things there, but um, the one thing I found that I picked up was their foam stickers for two dollars. They had um, really stepped up their reduce out at my Michaels because it's really organized and it's in separate bins. And before it was just like a hodgepodge thrown on a shelf, and you had to really root through it. So I did find these, so I picked those up. Okay, and then I picked up these. These were not on sale. These were regular price. And I picked up these beads here. Um, and I can't remember if the last beads that I got there looked like these or they were more of a lighter color. But um, I'm going to compare the two and see. But I think they're gorgeous. So I did pick them up. I think they're really, really, really pretty beads. So I found those. Okay. And then... Let's see, I picked me up some more um, blending tools. So I picked up the pack of those. Okay. 
And then I found, um, let's see, what else did I get up there? I always, always buy my favorite paintbrushes when I go into um, Michael's. Um, AC Moore used to handle these, but since they're gone now, I, uh, I pick them up at Michael's and they're only $2.99. But I was able to use a 20% off coupon on, on my total order um, to, I think they were like $1.79 when the, uh, the discount was taken. But guys, these are the best brushes. I, if I'm going to be painting for a long period of time, these are the brushes I reach for because they are so, so nice. Nicely made and they have a soft grip on it. They always keep their shape. Um, I just love those. So I did get me two more of those, and then I picked up this black drawing paper, and I kid you not, now this is how excited I was. I, I found I found the first one at Michael's, and then when I went to Hobby Lobby, I picked up a second one, not realizing I had just bought this one, <laughs> but that's okay. I'll use both of them, um, and I'll fill them up. I just... I, don't, I, just, I was so excited, I guess. I just like, oh. But that's all right. I come home and I found out that, oh my gosh, I bought two of them. But I'm fine with that. Okay, so they had the Tim Holtz. You buy, um, you buy one and you get on the inky tools or the inks. You buy one and you get one and a half off. So I picked me up the Lucky Clover. And then I picked me up the Peacock Feathers. So I'm slowly trying to get all the colors, which there's like a slew of the colors. Um, and I had bought some a while back, and they're starting to dry out because I had bought them used. So I'm trying to get the collection up again with some brand new ones. Um, in the same way with the Craft Smart ink was buy one, get one at half off. So I bought me another black, and then I did buy me a, another white one. So I want to do some of that inking in that um, in the mixed media black paper that I bought. So I found that. And then my husband found me these. Um, on the way out, they're, you know, there's a reduced, not reduced, but they're like dollar section. Section. <laughs> I cannot say my C's or my S's, guys. Uh, but anyway, it is, it's camera and it says, let's go. Love this place. And then there was like a world map on there. So I thought they were really cute. So I, I picked that up. And I think these were $1.99, I believe. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. I picked up these charms. They had their um, jewelry stuff on sale at half off. So I found these little charms of butterflies. So I thought they were really, really cute. And really, really pretty. Um... I think they are charms of birthdays because we go January, February, March. March is this color and mine, May, is green. So I think these are, are like the birthstone colors. So but I was fine with that. Um, I'm going to be making some bracelets with the kids. So and we're going to be using these. So there's those. And then I picked me up three more of these containers. That they have there in that little dollar section and I put my flowers in these the last ones that I had and I wanted a few more so I uh, opened them up and you know it's just big enough to flip your little paper flower down in there and they're really decorative too you know they really show their colors through it and uh, it's really pretty to look at so I've got three of those and then the last thing I wanted to show you was I finally picked up one of these um, where women create and I know Stephanie Garrett has shown this on her page on her channel and I really wanted to get one of these magazines and it's all about women all about the art that they do it shows their studios and I love that. I always like to look at other people's studios and crafts rooms and get ideas. And, and it's about being inspired. And there's a lot of articles in here. Um, it's just an overall really nice um, magazine for artists. And I just think it's just wonderful. Oh, 
I would love to have a studio like that. I love the windows. Um, I gotta have natural light in my in my studio, or I just I don't know what I do if I didn't have. I have one window in my studio, but it's extra large, so I'm okay with that. But I wish I had more. But anyway, it's a, a really overall nice nice magazine. So I finally got me one. So that is everything from Michaels and from Hobby Lobby. So what had happened was I had did my last video and I told you guys about Sunday when we come home from church. It is so funny. Um, I have to tell you this little story before I go. In church we had a um, another uh, pastor preacher come in because because ours was on vacation so um, and we knew he was coming and he's talking about um, how when his mother died he took a vacation to get away and the Lord said to him about a word he goes your word is discipline discipline okay so I'm sitting in church and all of a sudden it starts to rain and the longer I'm sitting there and the harder the rain's coming I know that my basement may be flooding because when it pours down the rain it floods really bad comes up through the drain if we don't have our plugs in so we're not home and it's pouring the rain down but mind you our church is at the end of my street so I'm very close I live like one minute away in a car ride and we had the car that day because of we thought it was going to rain and um and it's it's belting down it's the water's running down the street so we get home sure enough there's water in the basement but while i'm sitting in church all i can think of is the word for me says get home get home <laughs> and i couldn't really enjoy church service because this happened like halfway through the service and i can hear the lord say get home get home so I go I, we got it. so we waited till the end of the service and we just belted out of there and we walked to our car the time we get to the car we are soaking wet I mean from top to bottom my head is soaking look like I just got out of the shower so we get in the car come home and we have that in our basement and so long story short we pumped it out we bucketed out some outside because uh, I have my basic steps go down and there's like a small area where water gathers there with a drain but if it belts down so hard the drain won't um, go out quickly enough and it will wash into the basement too so my daughter and I are bucketing that out and my husband is using the sub pump to pump out the rest of the water uh, but then on Monday came I was just like I am not I'm not going down and cleaning that up just yet so that's what I did um, on Monday I went to Hobby Lobby just to get out get away relax came back and then yesterday I cleaned the basement and it took me all day it was like 10 30 and I didn't get until 4 o'clock because I have to move everything you have to spray it down with water and then you got to put the soap on and then it's a process and I was like I was tired so I'm done rattling on guys <laughs> I didn't mean this video to be this long but I just had to tell you that little story but everything's a-okay now and um, good to go <laughs> but thank you guys for watching thank you for the new subscribers my goodness I so appreciate it um, I'm pushing forth to that 600 I'm getting there um, but thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video the next video I'm going to be doing is an art related video. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be demoing something um, in the art, art related world. <laughs> so I will see you guys soon. And you guys have a rest of your good day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye guys.